Good morning guys, welcome to my cozy routine for burnout and seasonal depression. I normally take the time in the morning to lay down and just think. And then when I'm done doing that, I get up and I get on my laptop, on my phone, and I just pull up whatever makes me feel good. And I love watching shows, I love watching series, and I love feeling like I'm transferred to another universe when I watch these things, so that's what I do. This time, I tend to move a lot. I don't know if you guys do that when you're watching things in bed, but I go from one position to the other position, anything to just feel comfortable. Lately, I've been watching a lot of like fantasy type shows, um, anything on Netflix, anything on HBO, Hulu, or Prime. I'm strapped like they got me so I just make myself as comfortable as possible and I take as much time as I need to do any of these things another thing that I find that really helps me when I'm going through burnout or even some seasonal depression is just going on TikTok, going on Instagram getting inspired seeing what everybody else is doing and of course get back to you know watching stuff after that, I get on up and I go into the living room. I try to get somewhere with some light. And my bedroom does have a lot of light, but then I like a change of scenery as well. I find that that helps a lot, especially when I'm going through that seasonal depression funk. Getting into somewhere that's much brighter, airy, really, really helps. Lately, I've been watching a lot of black women do yoga. I know that's something we do not see often as women of color, black women more specifically. So I'll leave this video in the description box if you want to check it out. I find it very important to get into a routine of calmness, if that makes sense. I mean, you can do whatever you want. If you want to lift weights, if you want to go running, if you want to do yoga or Pilates or kickboxing, Find something that makes you feel good. It's been really, really great, you know, taking the moment to breathe in. I even opened my door and taking that moment to be balanced and centered and thinking about everything. Not all thoughts are good thoughts. Not all thoughts are bad thoughts. So I just take them as they come. And I've been really, really, really appreciating this time to just be one with myself, especially seeing that from someone that looks like me. After I'm done working out, I try to get some food thought out or at least try to prepare what I want to eat. With burnout and seasonal depression, I tend to not eat and then my body gets used to that state of being hungry but doing nothing about it. So I try to plan out things before it gets too bad. Then I take a shower. Most times we need a shower. It's been days. We need a shower and that really, really helps. And it helps to love on yourself. Put a face mask on. Like make yourself feel really, really good. You know, give yourself that massage that you need. Lotion your body. Love on yourself. You deserve it. So during these times, I try to go the extra mile to show my body how much I love her. I know this one may be a little bit difficult, but try to do something that you love that caused your burnout. For example, my editing can cause a lot of burnout, but I love creating the thumbnails and it really brings me a lot of joy. So I try to find the moments in that that you know can really take me back to something that I love. The next thing is try something new. I've had this French press for the longest time and I never used it. And honestly, it brought me a lot of joy because the coffee came out really, really good and it took my mind off everything else that I was thinking about. You know, you can try reading a new book, just like the movie, watching a movie, watching an episode of something, or even the adult coloring books. I love those to death. I have like over 120 Crayola pencils and it's just super, super fun, especially when you see the finished product or you taste the finished product. It's just absolutely amazing. I love that.
I seasoned up some meat from earlier and uh, stay tuned for more information regarding that meat. But I find it very helpful to clean up the space. Um, a clean area really, really helps your mindset. And I know it's really, really hard, especially like when you're feeling down and you don't even want to get up, get up out of your bed. I find that this really, really helps. A clean area really, really lifts your mood. And you know, I've experienced it a lot where I'm in a slump because my area is just a mess. And when I stay in a mess, you're going to stay in a slump. After I'm done with whatever cleaning, whether it be the kitchen or, you know, any area, just picking up even the littlest thing, I go and relax, girl. I go and watch that movie, scroll through, edit some pictures, like, do whatever makes me happy. I even search up destinations to some amazing places that I really, really, really want to visit. Like, I get inspired. I tell myself, you're going to go here. I watch videos from people. I see what they're up to. Just like earlier, guys, it's all about getting into the mindset that you want to be in, looking up videos, looking up places where you want to go, like getting inspired, falling in love, and eating. <laughs> Remember I told you about the food? Guys, I was not in the mood to cook and that happens even regardless of burnout or seasonal depression Sometimes you just don't want to cook and I'm not gonna cook I'm gonna order something that makes me feel good and pizza makes me feel good I'm gonna eat and when I go out I go all out when you see this pizza guys Just know that I ate every last piece of it and it was really delicious. I even ordered some brownies to go along with my order i just made myself feel good i even got drinks like i really wanted to feel really good you know guys look at this pizza you cannot tell me it's not giving goofy movie like look at how the cheese looks amazing fun fact or tip just add extra cheese just just add the extra cheese the next thing that you can do is light a candle candles really help from the lighting to the smell aromatherapy is such a real thing and smell really really helps like a nice smelling candle will really lift your spirits and make you feel warm not only that but me eating this like pizza and the brownie and just living my best life watching a movie that I really love brought me to a very nice warm place and these are some of the things that can really really help with seasonal depression and burnout thank you guys so much for watching and i really really hope that you took away something from this video and that you enjoyed the video if you have any recommendations for us just drop them down below and i'll utilize them for the next time i'm going through this